I am Mr. Gurpreet Singh, working as a system professor at the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, ISFCT, Moga, Punjab. I am here to demonstrate a practical based on volumetric analysis, which is for Farm D first year students for the subject of pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. In this practical, Ms. Shelley will assist me. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, we will discuss something about volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis is used for the determination of volume of solution of accurately known concentration required to react completely with a solution of substance to be determined. There are some commonly used terms in the volumetric analysis. First one is standard solution whose concentration is known to us. Titrate the substance which, uh, whose concentration is need to be determined and titrant which is a standard solution. Standard solutions, a solution of accurately known strength is known as standard solution. The, the concentration is generally expressed in terms of normality and molarity. Very pure reagents of high stability are used for preparation of standard solution. Accurate weight of the reagent is taken and then diluted to exact known volume. Titrate, the substance being titrated or taken in the conical flask is known as titrate or the substance whose concentration is being determined and the titrant are the uh, standard solution which are used for the titration of titrate endpoint or equivalence point endpoint at which the reaction between the titrate and the titrant is just completed they are generally indicated by the color produced by the indicators we have discussed we have shown some indicators which are commonly used in acid based titration. Uh, the examples are methyl orange, phenol phenolphthalein, red litmus solution, blue litmus solution. The titration, the process of addition of standard solution from the burette into the solution of unknown concentration taken in the conical flask is known as titration. The diagram shows the process of titration. The titrant is being added into the conical flask drop wise until the end point is achieved. The volumetric analysis is classified into five distinct classes that are acid based titration, redox type titration, precipitation titration, complexometric titration and non aqueous titration. Acid based titration, it involves the neutralization of an acid with a base in the presence of water as solvent. The reaction involves the combination of hydrogen and hydroxide ions in to form water. A such reaction has been shown below in which hydrochloric acid is treated with sodium hydroxide to form NaCl or sodium chloride and water. So the reaction for the today's experiment is we are treating oxalic acid with sodium hydroxide solution to form sodium oxalate and water. We are going to perform standardization of unknown concentration of sodium hydroxide solution using oxalic acid as a primary standard. Oxalic acid is used as primary standard because it has high purity and high stability. Only a compound having high stability and high purity can be used as primary standard in volumetric analysis. We have prepared we have, pre we have prepared 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution by dissolving 1.8 gram of the substance in 250 ml of distilled water. For carrying out the titration, we have prepared 0.1 normal oxalic acid solution, unknown concentration of NH, and for successful carried out, we need a purine that is represented here, a pipe plate for taking out the sample, three beakers, titration flask and the indicator phenol fatly. Adjust the burette to your eye level. Now fill the burette with the titrant solution to zero mark. Adjust the burette then accordingly to perform the titration. The burette must be maintained at your eye level while taking the reading of titrant consumed. Now we are pipetting out our sample solution. For this we have to rinse our pipette with the sample solution three times. After rinsing, fill the pipette up to 10 ml mark 
with the sample solution that is NaOH solution and transfer it to titration flask. Add one drop of phenolphthalein solution as indicator. The color of the solution turns to pink because the color of phenolphthalein indicator in the basic solution is pink. Now we will perform the titration. Set a flow rate for the standard solution from the burette. It should be drop wise and swell the flask continuously while adding the standard solution. Since the end point of the reaction is sodium oxalate which is colorless, so for the visualization of the end point, we have used phenolphthalein as indicator. When the whole titration is completed, the addition of excess of the single drop of titan results into color change. The pink color of the solution has been faded up. The titration has reached to its end point. Note down the volume of titan consumed from the buried reading and take at least three consecutive readings with a difference of 0.1 milliliters. For recording the volume of titan consumed, you look at the buried where the lower meniscus of the solution touch the buried reading that will be your volume of titan consumed. From the experiment, we have found the volume of titan consumed. From the equation N1V1 is equal to N2V2, we have N1 is equal to 0.1, X, X is the volume of titrant consumed and N2 we have to find out and 10 ml is the volume of sodium hydroxide taken. By putting the value of X we will get the N2 that is, the, that is equal to the strength of sample solution. Thank you for the watching. Like and subscribe ISFCP YouTube channel.